Nicola Sturgeon, who, as you know, my mother cannot stand. <laughs> ah, that woman. What does she want? I just can't stand that woman. <laughs> Nicola Sturgeon will stop at nothing to push her agenda of breaking up the union. And of course, she's at it again. In fact, she's always at it. And this time, it's at the expense of women in what, in my view, is a clear attempt to stoke the fire of independence. Nicola Sturgeon has decided to tamper with something that really didn't need to be touched, something that only affects a small minority and to people, some of whom some would argue were suffering from a mental illness and need medical help, something that her plans will enable young people to bypass. Nicola Sturgeon, in her infinite wisdom, along with a load of Scottish MPs, has decided that in Scotland, the age for changing gender should be lowered to just 16 where at that age you will be able to legally acquire a gender recognition certificate for your preferred gender, irrespective of your actual biological sex, and you can do this without any medical checks whatsoever. On what planet does she exist where removal of safeguards protecting young and vulnerable minds from being certified as having gender dysphoria by professionals first as being unnecessary? It is meant to be a check and balance to ensure that those who feel they're trapped in the wrong body are not just going through puberty, a natural and normal stage that we all go through as our hormones run wild, but are actually in need of further evaluation. Anyone with half a brain knows that. And in opening the floodgates in this way, it means anyone who is not trans, who wishes to take advantage of this, can do so without any medical diagnosis. Isn't the truth of this that Nicola Sturgeon wants to create an issue out of a non-issue, knowing full well that her plans will directly impact England and Wales, and that Westminster will, of course, step in and enact its Section 35 powers to block Holyrood's gender recognition reform legislation, which has never been used before, and then she can say, this is a question of sovereignty, and look at England trying to tell the Scottish people what to do, code for... It's time to break up the union. The only thing is, she's picked the wrong issue. And in my view, is using trans people to shoehorn her independence <coughs> agenda in a shameful manner. And now, a survey has been introduced by Aberdeen City Council, led by an SNP and Liberal Democrat coalition, to its 59 schools, forcing children as young as seven to answer questions about their gender. Questions like, what gender do you identify with? and then giving them options, male, female, non-binary, transgender, other, subtly indoctrinating the concept of more than two genders, something that had not been discussed with the parents who were in the main outraged. Douglas Lumsden, Tory MSP for North East Scotland and a former co-leader of Aberdeen City Council said, it is disgraceful that the council are forcing children as young as seven to answer questions about their gender. We've heard from Maggie Chapman just this week that she would like children as young as eight to be able to change gender. These snooping questions from the council seem to be following the same agenda. So I can't see the Scottish people being happy with Nicola Sturgeon's latest plan. If anything, it demonstrates why she absolutely shouldn't be in charge. And ultimately, this issue is a smoke screen for her woeful mismanagement of Scotland. Nicola Sturgeon has bitten off more than she can chew. She has shown herself to be completely obsessed with her agenda in the midst of this crisis. Nicola Sturgeon is focusing on gender reform to break up the union.